Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Catching with Kedgerman. I'm out here in a place called Saddleback Open Space doing a little hiking and hiding a couple of caches including this one here also known as trail mix number 40. I'm going to find a good place for this somewhere up the hill. In the meantime I'm at another location to hide a first cache to be a buddy cache of this one. It's going to be called Gilligan. I see a nice cubby hole for a geocache. And this is what's going to go in there. Gilligan is the name of uh, one of the main characters on the old TV show Gilligan's Island. He was the skipper's little buddy. That's what the skipper called him. So this cache hidden in this little rock outcropping is going to be a buddy cache of trail mix number 40 that I will hide up the hill maybe a quarter mile from here. Well I've come to a junction in the trail. There's two ways to go, the hard way and the easy way. Either way I have to get to the top of this mountain Here's the junction right here. That's the easy way. This is the hard way. When I spotted this area on the satellite view of this area, I thought uh, this rock outcropping behind me would be a great place to hide a cache. And indeed it would, except that it's too close to an existing cache, which I'm going to look for first. After that, there's another cache a little bit farther on, and then we'll find a place to hide the new cache. Let's keep going. This cache is supposed to be hidden in plain sight, but it wasn't in plain sight for me. I did not spot it. I also felt like the Sword of Damocles was hanging over my head with this fallen or half-fallen tree. I pushed on it. It's really solid, so I don't think it's dangerous at the moment. But nevertheless, I didn't spot the cache in the bushes or under any of these nice rocks. So it's onward to the next cache farther up the hill. See in the not so distant foothills how hazy it is. This is from the smoke from numerous fires burning in Colorado. There's five of them, big ones. Well, I've made it all the way to the top of Saddleback Mountain. There is a cache about 100 feet from where I'm standing, right at the top. Uh, I climbed probably about 800 feet from where I parked in a relatively short distance, so it was a steep trail. Pretty uh, heart-pounding, but uh, good news for me is that it's downhill all the rest of the way on this hike. But hey, look, I'm only 78 feet from a geocache over that away. Let's see if we can find it. Real obstacle course back here. This sure looks like a place for a cache to me. Sure enough. Nice log. Bag of goodies. Let's stamp the log. Not that many, many people have been up here. July 25th was the last time. Before that it was 2018. Almost two years ago. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe a dozen people have climbed up here to find this cache. But over quite a few years. Put it back together. Put it back in this hidey hole. And then we'll move on to hide my new cache, trail mix number 40. Stay tuned. Well, I have arrived. I always like to pick a spot with some uh, rock outcroppings, my favorite, but don't make it too hard to find. But there also has to be a nice view, which we have here. Let me show you.
There's a drop off here of maybe 100 feet. Nice trees, good forest in the distance. Too bad there's so much smoke, it would really be a nice view. But there's lots of good places to hide a cache, I think. Spotted some nice cubby holes, crooks and nannies, oh sorry, nannies and crooks. <laughs> Make that nooks and crannies. I think I have found a good spot. Right here, amongst these rocks. Oops. What? Where exactly? Don't want it to fall down into the lower reaches. Don't want it to be too hard to find. But I can move a few of these rocks in order to put this in a good spot. It has to be a cubby hole big enough to hold it. I think I can do that. I think I found a good spot. Right in there. Just needs another rock or two to put on top of it to better hide it. But it's not too hard to find, I think. Well, I have recorded the location of this cache. Let's follow my GPS and see if it takes me to it. always pays to test out your own waypoints. Five feet. I think that's pretty close. It's right in there. So that's trail mix number 40. Great location here. Some nice trees, nice rock outcroppings. Great view on a clearer day. Not too bad today, even. I always look forward to seeing who's going to be first to find a cache. Today's a Sunday, uh, middle afternoon. Probably won't get published. It could get published tonight or sometime. It might be next weekend before it gets uh, found by anyone. There's actually one more geocache here in the park to find, and that's where I'm going next, and then I'll be heading back to the car. This uh, next one is, let's see how far away it is, 0.2 miles. And it's supposed to be by a big, interesting uh, fallen log, I believe. Or maybe it's a big rock, I forget. One of the two. We'll see when we get there. Let's go find it. This is one of those caches where I've wandered around and I can't seem to get closer than 30 feet or so from ground zero. As soon as I, as soon as I get close to where it says to go, all of a sudden it points a different direction. Very strange, but I'm kind of guessing it's up there. That's where I'm going next. Looks like I was right. There it is, right under there. Well, I got my hands on the cache. Let's see what we have inside here. There's the log book. Little dog. A little glass kitty cat. Looks like a drawbreaker, but I think it's a bouncy ball. And a few other random things. Let's take a look at the log. Have lots of signatures on this one. Looks like it was hidden in 2013. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Caching with Cadgerman. If you enjoyed this episode, please take a look at some of my others. And you can also subscribe to my channel with the link uh, somewhere nearby this uh, screen here. And uh, hope to see you again next time on my next episode, or take a look at one of these other ones here, and uh, 
Until then, we'll see you somewhere else down the trail. So long, everybody. Oh,